Hello, welcome back to Calypso Moon. I'm going to jump right in with the sign of Pisces. Um, finishing off these mid-month energies. Stay tuned and see what I have for you. We're going to start off with the Moonology deck to get some oracle messages from the Mother Moon Goddess herself. Spirits, ancestors, universal energy. We're going to go ahead and clarify these messages with tarot. But let's see what they have for you, Pisces. Oh, <clears throat> I see some Gemini energy here already, Aquarius. Not Aquarius, Sag. So it says surrender to the divine, full moon. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Pisces, what do you need to release? Waning moon, waning moon. <laughs> Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, and then communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. All right. <clears throat> Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. Help me clarify these energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right, so we have six of cups, eight of wands, four of cups, queen of cups, and seven of wands. So for me right now, I'm feeling like um, you're having some past memories, Pisces. You're holding on to them or you're trying to fight them away. But some information or some type of communication, fast moving communication is coming in for you. It could be about your past, the past love, um, someone you knew growing up, an old childhood friend. And this information could distract you from what you need to be doing right now. You might need to release this, this old, these old feelings or emotions here. And with the Queen of Cups being here, I feel like maybe you might be hanging on to this. Or hanging on to these feelings or are distracted by these feelings. Maybe somebody from the past is trying to come back here. Let's get some more information to clarify. Surrender to the divine. Luck is on your side. What do you need to release? Prosperity lies ahead and communication is key. Yeah, it looks like you might still have one of those doors open to the past here, Pisces. That might need to be closed. Kind of has you distracted from what you need to do. You need to communicate with somebody about how you really feel about this situation. And you might not fully know yet, but I feel like something's going to come in to help you clearly figure it out, help you clearly see what it is that you need to do here. Because something needs to be released and it's, might, it looks like it might be something from your past. That's wearing its head back up. <clears throat> All right, Pisces, let's clarify. Spirit guides, another ancestor. Any more information for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, not from this deck. Any 
get messages. There we go. You have the lovers. Page of Swords. Hair font. Three of Swords. Okay. The lovers. Page of Swords. The hair font. And then the Three of Swords. You know what that is. All right, this is, to me, with the lovers here, this is indicating that this is some type of emotional connection. It could be with someone that you are in a room, was or is in a romantic relationship with. I'm saying was because you need to release something from the past. So this could be a relationship that you were in. You've learned something new here. With the Page of Swords next to the Eight of Wands, you've learned something new here. And the Eight of Wands is indicating communication. So with this New Moon and Gemini card here, this Moonology card that says communication is key, whatever you've learned in this situation, you need to use it. You need to speak on it. Your heart was broken. But for some reason, you're still looking at this. You're still looking for that Ace of Cups. You're still expecting that in this situation, but you're not. Real, you're not focusing on those other cups over here. You're just focusing on this one cup. And you need to release that. That's what it's indicating to me here. Osho does not want to talk right now, so I'll wait for last to use that one if it wants to have some messages come out. Any more messages for Pisces, Sun, Rising, Venus? Any more messages? Spirit. <clears throat> so you got the Ten of Wands carrying a burden. A lot of burdens. A lot of responsibility. The Page of Cups. Someone's waiting to make an offer. Here. Someone's checking out the situation to see if there is an opportunity to make an offer. And then you have the High Priestess. Or not the high priestess, the empress. <laughs> yeah, this situation was burdensome. Somebody was holding back from this connection. But I feel like you're moving into this uh, empress energy right now, Pisces. I feel like this is what you're being called to do. You need to release these burdens, release whatever the situation has connected to. Because it was, it's not feeling good. But there is something better coming in for you. It says prosperity lies ahead. The, the key to this prosperity, though, is communication. Luck is on your side. Surrender to the divine. There might be some, I wouldn't be surprised if the um, Ace of Cups does not come out or something else. Um, there seems like something new is coming in for you. And in order for you to move towards that, you're going to have to surrender this past energy. You're going to have to let it go. Yeah, Osho wants to speak today. Yes. Any more messages? No? So you have existence. And suppression. Yeah, I feel like this connection from the past, whatever it was, it did not have you living your best life. Let's just say that you were just existing. You're just there. It's like you were the observer in the situation. You're, you were not focused on what was really happening here. And it ended up hurting a little bit. Let me get one more card here. So 
totality completion. Yeah. In order to get what's really here for you, what, what's really coming in for you, you have got to complete this cycle of letting this past energy go. Page of Cups again, clarifying the Page of Cups. And the Fool, a new beginning. What did I say? I thought it would have been the Ace of Cups, new beginning in love, but that might, that might not be meant for you right now. You might just have a new beginning coming in. But you have the Page of Cups twice here. He's focused on that cup. He has that cup. He's ready to give it again, it looks like. Once he releases this other energy, that's the Ace of Cups that this page has. Let me get one more to finish this spread off and then I'll do some angel answers and some Moonology guidance. Queen of Cups, twice. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, twice. Yeah, there's a better offer coming in for you and you have to wait for it. You have to give up this past energy and wait for this new offer to come in. It looks like it's going to be a really strong connection. There could possibly even be children involved in this new connection. Like you might get pregnant by this person. If that's what, or they might get pregnant by you. Uh, there might be children that come out of this situation. I don't know. We're not going to do any more moon cards. Let's do the angel answers. And that'll finish off this spread. Yeah, this situation has you feeling not at your top performance here. There was a lot of things you were holding back here or that they were holding back from you. And this was not a complete connection. You did not feel complete in this connection. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. I don't see a tower moment happening here, but I feel like it might be approaching or it might have already happened. And communicate clearly again came out. So... There's something you're not saying that you need to say definitely is a theme of this situation here. Queen of Cups is also probably you not being so forthcoming with your cup these days. Reconsider, communicate clearly, and yes. Yes, reconsider, communicate clearly. <clears throat> reconsider. releasing this you don't want to release this i feel like you don't want to surrender to something new that's coming in but i feel like you're being nudged by your intuition by god by your friends and families to let whatever this is go so you can focus on what's better for you coming in the the um empress and the fool and the lovers so you need to go ahead and let this person know or your job, no, or whatever the situation is pertaining to, which I really do feel like it's love, but I always do, so. <laughs> Let it go and move forward. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you for your mid-month energies. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you here next time.